Ian Jeffrey Askew. is my father's name. His name is Jeffrey. My first name is Ian. Uh, it was Asa. Asa. Yeah, I wish they actually would have kept it that. But uh, it's Ian. You prefer Asa over Ian? I do. I should probably use that, right, for my acting name. Do you prefer Ian or? Yeah, call me Ian. I've never went by Asa. I just, Asa. it was a story they told me. They used to, they used to try to make my name Asa before they decided it was Ian. And Ask you is actually a Jewish name. Obviously, I'm, mm. I'm not Jewish, but it's a Jewish name. <sighs> I'm originally from a place called Lawnside, New Jersey. It's a little town. It's in between, I want to say, Barrington and Somerdale. It's a predominantly black town. It was one of the uh, free havens for slaves. Um, it's a really nice town, suburban, even though, you know, nowadays they try to make it, you know, all thug and, and everything like that. You know, it's just a nice, quiet town. Like we do for, when it comes to your industry, um, mm -hmm. when it comes to media, what do you what do? You do? I'm an actor, singer, songwriter, but, but, but mainly an actor. Mainly an actor. How long have you been acting? <sighs> That's a good question. Honestly, I feel like I was doing this for far back as I can remember. Actually, on the books, this, working with you and uh, Mr. Lee's, uh, that's this is the first actual real work, real film work I've been doing. But you know, I was kind of just like born into it. You know, film to me was just very, I just felt very, very personal with it. You know, I, I was the kind of kid that I would watch a film and I would just feel like the main character. I would dress up like him, you know, talk like him, walk like him. And this is something I never shed. So I guess you could say my whole life. Your whole life. Yeah. It's always been passion basically always definitely never you never had a, a doubt in your in your mind or in the past where you're like I don't want to do this anymore it's always been like yeah that's what I want to do you you always have doubts always I mean that's that's what life is man like you sometimes I wake up and I'm like I suck man what, what is this it's you real know? though you know no, like do you do you believe in those people who like yeah I never doubt I'm, I'm gonna be an actor I'm never uh, in my lows not real but would you say it's real it's a front i believe you know one of the most boastful people in the world you know is like floyd mayweather he's not really like that in real life you know it's a front you got to make yourself appear that way because he's, he's he's doing his job you know but behind the scenes but behind the scenes everyone's human everyone has doubts what motivates you the most to like act because even though you say you're an actor mm -hmm. singer songwriter you're an entertainer yes I think that's where I, I want to place you in. You are an entertainer. You are. Yes. Because you do, you have more than one trait. But what passions you, or what motivates you, or who motivates you? You know, I think the, uh, the most popular answer would be, you know, my daughter, my family, my dead grandmother, my dead grandfather. But honestly, feel, fear of uh, failure. You know, that, that's what, I think that's what motivates me most. You know, uh, not being a certain way you know not just financially but getting old and being able not being able to say you know I knew what it was like or being able to say oh when I was a young guy man I could have done this I could have done that you know we're, we're in the middle of nowhere we're in you know South Jersey you know who really hears of uh, actors here you know we got cops we got nurses you know we got bums you know what I mean so just because I am where I am, and this is what surrounds me, a, a predetermined path, you know, I, I still have to say, you know, I'm going to go against all odds and do this because I don't want to just be mediocre. Think about it, the people who, um, even some of your favorite um, actors, mm -hmm. they're from the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Definitely. James yeah. Dean is from Indiana or something like that. Where is Johnny Depp from? If I'm not mistaken, he's down from down south, like just somewhere, nowhere. Yeah, like it's, yeah. it's nowhere. You just travel a lot, but um, I think.
think you're in a good spot. I think you um, you definitely can progress. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you speaking, you spoke earlier about you know your whole life mm -hmm. and passionate about acting and what motivates you and what's your age? Like, I cause a lot of people would like to know that because some people would be like, yeah, he's probably been doing it for a few years. He's mm -hmm. probably young. He's probably old. Mm -hmm. Is that what motivates people? The age, like when did you decide to start this, and how old are you now? Yeah, I do that all the time, man. You know, I a lot of times I just Google celebrities or certain, you know, not necessarily celebrities, but certain, you know, artists, you know, or or actors. See how old they are to see how long I have or how long may it take to get into the game, and you know where I am skill wise. If I if this is real, if it's not real, but I'm 26 now. I just turned 26, uh, and. I've been trying to pursue this seriously since I'd have to say maybe the age of 22 or 23, you know? I mean, my whole my whole road to, to being where I am now, which is in my in my opinion I'm still nowhere, you know. I still have so much I want to do, so much I want to accomplish as far as acting is concerned, you know what I mean? I love New York City. Obviously, I'm here. I want to live there apparently and eventually. But, um, you know, I've been on my own since I was, I want to say, 18. I dropped out of high school. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that, but that was my path. I dropped out of high school, not because I'm not educated. You know, I'm very educated. I'm very, I was very smart. But something else was calling me. I needed to experience life. You know, I lived a very, you know, a, a household with a lot of love. You know, I was raised with all women, you know what I mean? And just like, it, it was always that motherly love. And a lot of times it was overprotective. I was the only, I was the only boy. So I was like the little the king, the prince, you know? So I had to go out and find my, find myself. You know, I was, uh, I was 17 when I dropped out, got my first job. I lie to you not. And this goes back to you asking me how long I've been doing the acting thing. Me and my sister talk about this all the time. I had 30 plus jobs, probably 40 at this point, since since the age of 17. Just quitting, obviously, like, like you know, working them and quitting, working them and quitting. It's all about quality of life. I could never really declare a career for myself because I get bored fast. I need to experience things. And then I'm on. I keep it moving. You know what I mean? To me, that's why acting is such a, a key thing because you don't have to declare yourself anything. You don't have to conform. You know what I mean? You're you're experiencing different characters, different lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? At the risk of sounding, you know, narcissistic, I just I, I like to do what I like to do. There you go. You know what I mean? Like I, when I want to move, I'm ready to move. You know, I don't like anyone over top of me. You know, when it comes to acting, though, I don't I don't mind. You know, director tell me to do this. It's all I welcome it all. You know, what I, mean? I love constructive criticism. I'm very critical of myself. But uh, not to get too far away from the question that you asked me. I feel like, like I said, I feel like I've been doing it for so long because of how many jobs I had. I mean, I was reading this interview from uh, Al Pacino, and he was saying, aside from his formal training, which wasn't much, he had 20, 30 some odd jobs. You know, a valet, a movie attendant, a cab driver. And in essence, you have to be a character. I can't be the same person at Taco Bell as I was at FedEx, as I am security, as I was a patient aide you know, in a hospital, you know, you have to be different people, you have to be caring, or you have to be kind of curt and professional, and, you know, doing all these things, it just, it just helped me to explore, you know, life, I mean, I, I've explored a lot, you know, in 26 years, but I'm, I'm mature, nobody ever believes in 26, when I was 21, nobody believed I was 21, I already had an, an older way about myself. I see uh, when you try to 
embarked on anything in life. It's kind of like, you know, you're, uh, you're about to go swimming in a swimming pool, you know. You stick your toe in, you know, you stick your foot in. It's cold. I don't want to get in there, you know. But if you just jump in, your body immediately becomes accustomed to it and it becomes you. You're good. You can swim around all day, you know. So that's that's kind of what I do. I just, you know, just jump in there. No matter how young you are or anything, you just kind of got to give it a shot. Even um, people who are like 40 right now that want to start acting. I couldn't tell you, you know, because I'm not 40. So it's hard for me to speak from a perspective of a 40 year old. But again, like I said, I Google a lot of people, a lot of actors I'm into, uh, especially being black, like I'm more privy to, to, to uh, look into more entertainers of, of color, although that's, that's not just what I'm limited to. Um, take Idris Elba, for, for example. This guy didn't come in until he was about 36, 37. You know, that's when he was, that's when he was, I'm not saying that's when he started acting, but that's when he actually got into the game, started getting money. He was on The Wire. Mm -hmm. People may know what that, you know, what that show is. And now he's like, you know, making actual, you know, substantial movies. But, you know, from what I've seen and what I know, it's never, never really too late, you know. One of my favorite actors that started really late, and he's not black, but he's like biracial. I think he has, has some black in him. That's Vin Diesel. Mm. He started really late. How old was he when he started? In his 30s. Okay. Yeah, like he, he's over 40 right now. And mm -hmm. he's only been in the industry for 10 years. Ever since like, uh, well, Saving Private Ryan. Like mm -hmm. one, of, one of those like short little parts that he had that he died. Yeah. But then the whole Fast and Furious franchise mm -hmm. came along. And Vin Diesel was Triple X and Riddick and mm -hmm. Pitch Black. But yeah, there's no age limit. You can be young, you can be old, just do it. Like yeah. Said, just jump yeah. in the pool. Yeah, exactly. Just jump in the pool. I mean, and then it, it also depends on you know, what you're going for. You know, if you want to be a teeny bopper, you know, if you want to be that teen heartthrob and you want to get in there, you know, relatively young. Uh, shout out to, to Max Blackwell, actually. Not that I know him, shouting him out, but like, I'm, I'm amazed by him because I got to say, I've been wanting to act ever since, you know, I was his age. He's what, 18? He's, I think, 17 or 18. That's even better. I mean, like, and, but he seems to have the focus, you know? He's already got a real. You know, he's already been in a few different pieces and it looks like he's got his mind made up. No kids, you know? So like, I mean, that, yeah, he's got it. Hopefully you know what I mean? Hopefully he'll be here soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, today? No, hopefully he'll be on this. Oh, uh, doing this? Doing this, yeah. Yeah. Um, last couple of questions would be like, briefly, what your favorite actor right now? If you can name anybody, him or her, who would it be? Right now, a new actor? Contemporary? That you like. That's actually in, in pieces right now? Yeah. Favorite actor right now, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, right I love, now. I love him in uh, Dark Knight. Right, oh. the Batman. So you saw it? Uh, yeah, i just seen it. I, I'm embarrassed You're talking about that. I'm a huge fan of Batman. And I actually saw it when it came out on DVD. I wanted to smack myself. Like wow. I, I wanted to go and see The Dark Knight Rises in theater. But then I had a re you know, my, my wife, she got a little bit scared about the fact of the shootings mm -hmm. over at the theaters yep. and I respected that you know, mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to put her in a position where she's going to be anxious or mm -hmm. looking behind her back like oh what happened if it happens to us and you know being in Jersey um, Lowe's mm -hmm. that's a huge theater there oh yeah lots it's on of the map. happens there Cherry Hill yeah absolutely. I was a part of a riot once in Cherry Hill yeah right I was in TGI Fridays and when we came out we, might, we went to go see a movie with my brother mm -hmm. a freaking riot Started, mm. started, just broke out, and I'm like, we better get out of here before bottles start smashing. Yeah, or somebody pulls guns out. Yeah, because yeah. you know it's right off the bridge. Me yeah. and my cousin, man, we almost got jumped at, at coming from Lowe's. And these kids in Cherry, in um, they were from like Camden and mm. Philly, because Cherry Hill's right there. Yeah, and they all come to the mall, you know, especially back in the day to pick up girls, you know, suburban girls. <laughs> so we almost got jumped out there by these kids, man. We were like 14 years old, man. It's 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 crazy though. Tom Hardy, I agree with you. He's one of my. Uh, I haven't. I don't know much about him. Mm -hmm. You know, from Lawless, I just saw that too. Oh. And then, of course, he did an excellent Bane. Mm -hmm. um, I found out that that was actually his voice, his his acting. Wow. And he, but normally, he does have a deep voice. Of course, it was probably altered through post production. But yeah, he does have a good. Yeah. In Lawless, he has that really deep. Yeah. Deep voice, and I like yeah. him in Lawless. But yeah. Tom Hardy is your favorite actor right now. That's right pretty now. good. Gotta be. What do you uh, want to 
say to the people out there, mm-hmm. you and me right now who are independent or upcoming artists as actors or mm-hmm. singer songwriters, what do you have to tell them to motivate them not to quit? Because there is doubt. And you specifically mm-hmm. said that. There's yeah, doubt. Definitely, definitely doubt. So what definitely. do you have to say for them? It's hard to speak, you know, it's hard to speak from a standpoint other than other than mine because I'm in the same boat as everybody out there. The only thing that makes me different than anyone sitting on the couch watching this is the fact that I got, I can't cuss, right? I was gonna say I got my ass up. You're good, you're good. Came here, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in the same boat, man. I haven't made it to Hollywood yet, you know? But, you know, I'm with some good people who are, who are doing some good things and I'm a very vibey person. And I have a feeling that, you know, you're going somewhere. I got a feeling, feeling that these guys I'm working on, on this on this film with, with you guys, are going somewhere. You know, I'm 26 years old. I got my first child. Uh, she's two now. Um, you know, I have a full-time job. I'm a college student. Uh, I took a break so I could work. And I wouldn't do something unless I felt like it was going to really be beneficial to me you know, getting where I need to be in my life. You know, we're not just here, you know, I I don't kick it, you know, just, you know, smoking, drinking, chilling, something that's just gonna waste my time. You know, I'm I'm, I'm doing this because I believe in it. So at the end of the day, if you believe in it, do it for you. Do it for you because, you know, you don't wanna, like I said, you don't, my, my main motivator is fear. You don't wanna get to be a certain age and, and regret not doing it. You know what I mean? I look around and I see people, you know, I see big successes, I see small successes, and I see no successes. I see complacency. I see dormant, you know, people. And I look and I, and I see that guy, you know, that, you know, went in, the, went in the Air Force when we just graduated high school. And, you know, now he's ranking, you know, and he's got good money. He's got a big house, you know, he's got, you know, a couple cars, you know, and I see guys that dropped out, didn't do much of anything. They're in jail. I see guys that are dead now. Um, I see people that are, uh, entertainers, you know, I see people that, you know, I went to school with who, uh, while we were out, you know, while, while most of the guys were out, you know, lollygagging, this guy, you know, was playing basketball. He's in the league now, you know, I put myself in their position. What if I was that guy? You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure he had doubts too, but for that one moment where you finally do realize like, wow, I made it. Or, wow, I'm actually getting paid to do this. Or, wow, Oliver Stone wants me. Scorsese wants me. You know what I mean? These big names. Y'all, I made it. And all that doubt, all that hard work, all that, all the naysayers and, 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 and all the people that didn't believe what you're doing, it just doesn't matter. Because, look, I made it. So I'd say, man, even though I'm in the same boat, I'd say keep on moving. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, because, you know, <laughs> you never know. And if you make... A decision based on what you think someone else uh, thinks is is the right thing to do. You'll never forgive yourself, you know. Cool, man. <laughs> Appreciate you being here and um, taking the time to actually speak not for me mm-hmm. or for BTA, but for people who um, are right now down mm-hmm. and like I, I'm going to quit because you know we all want to quit. Every Absolutely. Time. So I want to thank you for talking to them because this is what this show is about about motivating people in your industry mm-hmm. to say you know what let me get my ass up <laughs> get your ass up get your ass up so thanks again and um i'll be seeing you in uh, a few full and short feature films such as royal flush and um hopefully some better and bigger ones all right thanks a definitely lot. definitely thank you